Thank you, Bobby, and um, thank you to everyone. It is literally uh, humbling and a tremendous honor to be here to accept this partnership award on behalf of all of the partners, and, and the list is very, very long, um, starting with Vive Healthcare, but the NIH, the NIAID, the Division of AIDS, the HIV Prevention Trials Network, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and I could go on and on about who had to be a part of this to make these trials possible in order for us to answer this question and ultimately develop a really special drug and, and with some very unique outcomes. But those outcomes would not have been possible were it not for an incredible study team, incredible investigators all around the world, and incredible site staff, and most importantly, incredible clinical trial participants that were diverse and that were determined, determined to be a part of this trial and to answer this question. They were determined to prove that African women want, need, deserve, and will adhere to PrEP. They were determined to demonstrate that black MSM in the US will be a part of clinical trials and will adhere to PrEP and can absolutely benefit from it and should be represented in the appropriate numbers and that they can be represented in appropriate numbers. And so it was this partnership that allowed us to actually live our values, make the populations in the trial look like we needed it to be and make a real difference. And so when you live your values and design a study in the way that you really want it to be, and it comes with an incredible outcome, it makes you extremely proud and extremely excited. But that's only part of the story. If you develop a drug and it doesn't get to the people who need it the most around the world, then why bother? And so that's where the next set of partnerships come in, the Medicine Patent Pool and PEPFAR, who will make this product actually get to the people who need it. And that is the critical piece here. And so it is truly my honor to accept this award. One of the leads for the study, the 084 study, she used to regularly mention a proverb that said, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. And here, I think we're going very, very far. And this is a game changer, and I'm very much looking forward to the day when we can look back and say that this was the beginning of the end of the AIDS epidemic. Thank you.